Hello everyone, I'm going to show you in a very short tutorial a very easy telephone. Okay, we start with a cube, we switch to edit mode, we select the face, we right click on it, we stretch it until there somewhere, we right click on that one, stretch that up to here, right click on that one and stretch up to here. The telephone is normally smaller, something like this, okay um we uh, press control f and uh, we separate the top view in and this will be the guideline for the guideline for the screen we also need a one underneath also need one there are different methods that can be used to select everything I'm just showing you one of them this is for the button I do it very quickly because I don't I don't want to bore you and then we have uh, buttons on the on the rear side also not that quick. It's just Control R and select the face you want it on. Uh, control R and he always switches from one view to another. If you move it a little bit sideways, just left pr press left mouse inks on your this Control R, left mouse click and then move it sideways where you want it. Okay, uh, I think we're approximately, yeah, we're approximately ready. Okay, good, what we're going to do now is edit mode, face selection, and shift right click on the faces that we don't want. These are the faces where the screen will become on, and we're going to delete them. Just press delete faces. Okay, good, uh, there's a button on the sideways where you're normally put on your telephone on this e extrude and like this not too much because your telephone has a button and on the other side normally it has a button this is right click right click uh, e and move it a little outside this is normally for the audio okay in the center we have one over here same principle press e a little down not much okay and we're going to make it a little round in the edges so we use uh, edge selection right click on that one right click on shift right click on that one shift right click on that one and shift right click on that one and now we're going to use the level command control b and we we turn uh, it's no i do it again because it's very it's not good uh, positioned to use the bevel command like this uh, hold down the mouse key in the middle and make some turns let's say like something like that okay okay we wanted uh, the corners also beveled uh, also still in face selection and here we have to select every face this shift Not that one. So every part that you want round, shift, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, control B, roll the middle, and the more you roll, the more radius you get if you go like that. Okay, this is we're approximately ready. The only thing that we now have left is the screen. So how do we do that? We use the edge selection, right click on that, Alt, right click on that, E, Z to go down uh, just a little bit, and F to, to follow it up. Now we're going to go add some materials. First of all, we're going to switch the camera aside. Oh, I'm just far enough. And then we have a quick look if 
perfect rendering of a the lamp we need a lamp over here shift d we put one on the other side also to change the lighting to three and the other lamp also three we look at the camera view and it is not in the center okay good and now we're going to add some materials first of all we're going to make a golden a golden uh, telephone and I'm going to use the code E7C53D E7C53D okay that's the base color of the telephone then what we need also on the same level is the black bar we choose black okay and we also need the transparent screen transparent and we leave everything to that just to switch to transparency okay uh, we go back with zero press of course we're going in object mode, yes, we're going to select the cube, and we're going to say gold. If we select it, okay. It looks rather good. Okay, we're going to give the colors. Uh, we switch from object mode to edit mode. And we're going to select the gold for everything. And we sign, okay, then we select the screen or the button or whatever you like first okay we're going to select the face selection the button black sideways also or we leave it just like you want okay shift selection shift selection shift right click on them on the opposite side also right click shift okay the buttons are selected we want them in black also okay and just that we want transparent okay I think it's ready go to have a look through the render we're gonna have to put some more light this is not so good position it much more like this and we're going to give as uh, changed for instance a three and the other one also a three I know why they're not correctly positioned because I've changed I've changed it from the camera. Okay. This will be okay. Okay, well, here it is, the camera. Thank you for watching.